Industries has been kind enough to provide us with Mark 1 plastic gear buffers for the front and the rear. Some clear tail lights, clear red tail lights. BFI has also provided us with some crystal clear turn signals for the front bumper. Uh, these are our JOM uh, co-evers for the Mark 1 chassis. And along with that, BFI also provided us with the front core support brace. This will actually be part of our Stage 3 kit. Uh, stage 1 will come with just the three mounts and the axles, but Stage 3 will actually come with the uh, front brace to uh, strengthen the front end on our Mark 1 VR6 motor mount conversion. We're getting started on day 3. Uh, we stayed here late, pretty late last night, and we sanded down all the body, uh, trying to find all rust spots. We uncovered some stuff that we didn't like to see, but uh, we're going to go back and fix the body panels and make sure everything's good again. Um, so today we're going to prep the rest of the body, clear all the rust spots, and patch all the dents and stuff, and go from there. Day four, Monday, uh, over the weekend, we got a lot of body work done, straightened all the panels the best we could, and primered the whole car, we primered the doors, the fender, uh, pretty much get everything ready for paint. Tonight we'll hopefully paint the engine bay in our paint booth, and we will paint the rest of the body. Once we get it in and get the engine in and everything, we're going to paint the rest of the body. Uh, we'll put the suspension and everything back together now. We also got a lot of the uh, undercoating done. Uh, we lifted it up on outside on our scissor lift and sprayed undercoating underneath the car, uh, the gas tank, and pretty much all the floors. That protects everything from all the weather, keeps it from chipping and uh, rust and whatnot. So we pretty much coated the entire bottom of the car with this uh, really tough undercoating. 